Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Halloween collection from China Glaze for 2020. But there are six new polishes to look at today. I will link the China Glaze site, Instagram page, and my Instagram in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Payback's A Witch, and this is a burnt orange with a gold shimmer. So here's our first coat of Payback's A Witch. This one does have a good formula. I didn't have any running or pulling or anything like that with this. The gold flash that's in here stands out really well and it's a larger particle kind of shimmer so it kind of looks like a flake on the nail. It won't dry textured and it won't be difficult to remove but it can get messy. So there is two coats. Up next we have Hex Boyfriend and this is a blackened green shimmer that dries to a matte finish. Here is Hex Boyfriend. I didn't have any running, pulling, or staining with this one, but this one does dry matte and it does dry very quickly, so you do have to work a little bit faster with this one to get a nice even application. This one does look beautiful both glossy and matte. So there is two coats. Up next is Having a Crystal Ball, and this is a duochrome that goes from this blue shade, and if I can change up my lighting, you can see the purple that it goes to. Here's our first coat of Having a Crystal Ball. I'm going to show this on three coats on its own, and then one coat over a black cream, just so you can see the difference. I do prefer it over the black. I feel like I got a little bit better of a shifty quality out of this over black, but either way, it's not the most shifty multi-chrome in the world for me. This one does reach full opacity in three coats. I would recommend using a glossy top coat just for longevity purposes, but this does dry decently glossy all on its own. So there's three coats, and then here's one coat over that black. Over the black, this one does apply nice and evenly. I did work a little bit thicker to make sure that it did. So there is one coat. Next we have Kiss and Spell and this is a berry with a golden copper shimmer and this one does dry to a semi matte finish. Here is Kiss and Spell. This one's very opaque, completely opaque in two coats for me. This one does dry down satiny so it's not like fully matte like Hex Boyfriend was but it does dry down on the matte side. This one though had some texture when it dried so I would probably wear a top coat even if I wanted it matte, I'd probably use a matte top coat. So there's two coats. Up next we have Spill the Tea and this is a gray base and it's got this gorgeous like purpley pinky red to copper shimmer. Here is Spell the Tea. This one does have a good formula, no running, pulling, or staining. The shimmer that's in here does stand out nicely. You do see it on the nail, and I do appreciate that. It's not as shifty on the nail as it is in the bottle. Completely opaque in two coats. I'd recommend top coat and removal's easy. So there's two coats. And lastly for today, we have Covens and Caviar, and this is a black cream that dries to a matte finish. And here is Covens and Caviar. Very opaque on this first coat, completely opaque in two. I don't love this one. I would recommend just going in with a regular black polish and a matte top coat if you wanted a matte black nail. This one is on the thick side and it is a little bit more difficult to work with. So there is two coats. So my favorite of the collection was Hex Boyfriend. It had a very difficult formula to work with, but I did think it was pretty matte. It looked like this nice velvet finish on the nail, and then I did really enjoy it glossy as well, so that was my favorite. But I will say having the mattes in this collection, which was half of them, they were all very difficult to work with. Um, they dried as I was working with them, so it made it an uneven application. And then the other three just kind of weren't my jive. I think the orange was pretty, the, the gold shimmer that was in it, the gold little flecks, they were pretty, but it's not something that I would ever necessarily wear. 
the duochrome I've seen I've seen many many brands do duochromes and that one was hardly shifty even layered over a black and then um, the gray was pretty but Hex Boyfriend was my favorite. I didn't love anything from the collection though. I think I hype up the China Glaze Halloween collections every year and this one was just kind of a letdown. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.